Myocarditis is basically inflammation of the heart. In North America, it is most commonly caused by a virus. The symptoms of myocarditis are generally chest pain, sometimes with shortness of breath and swelling of the ankles. In rare cases, myocarditis can lead to arrhythmias of the heart, which cause you to lose consciousness. Myocarditis should be suspected in a young person who has no other cardiovascular risks, yet presents with cardiovascular symptoms. The first test is usually an electrocardiogram, which tests the electrical activity of the heart. Then, a blood test, usually a troponin, that looks for signs of cardiac injury. If these are abnormal, sequential testing with an echocardiogram and sometimes an MRI or even a heart biopsy may be needed in severe cases. Myocarditis following these vaccines is very rare, and myocarditis in general after vaccines is very rare. In all cases, including the vaccines for COVID-19, it is better to get the vaccine than to not get the vaccine. And the reason is that the actual infection is always worse than the possible uh, consequences of a vaccine. Myocarditis does occur after the COVID vaccinations using the mRNA technology. The rate is very low. Recent reports suggest that primarily it's young people, mostly males, and after the second vaccine. The cause of myocarditis in people who have received the mRNA vaccines is not yet known. We believe that it is likely an immune reaction to the components of the vaccine, which is also what is needed to protect people from the virus itself. I would emphasize this is a rare complication, and most people get better quickly. In patients who get the vaccine and then develop chest pain due to myocarditis, they generally recover quickly. The risk of that happening is on the order of one in 100,000 vaccines. In contrast, the risk of actually getting myocarditis from the virus itself is about one to 2%, a much higher number. And therefore, we strongly recommend that everyone get the vaccine to minimize their risk. Myocarditis following COVID-19 or following COVID-19 infection uh, and vaccination is an area of concern and an area of research for myocarditis investigators at the Mayo Clinic. For more than 25 years, we have been focused on cardiac injury due to viruses here at Mayo Clinic. And I can say that in, we have pivoted this year to specifically focus the me molecular mechanisms and the clinical implications of these infections. We described 23 patients who had myocarditis following COVID-19 vaccination. All of them were young males and they recovered mostly very quickly. This is an important observation because it both describes the rate of these events in young adults, which is higher than the expected background rate, and it demonstrates that in this population, the vast majority of people will get better with just supportive care. In young people particularly, who have had one or two doses of the vaccine, people should be mindful for chest pain. If somebody develops chest pains in the days to weeks after the vaccine, they should see their local cardiologist or physician, healthcare provider for advice immediately. Other symptoms can include shortness of breath or a lightheadedness. These are not specific for the heart, but they should also prompt somebody to go and see their local health provider.